Hey, Techno Studs. And when I say studs, I mean both students and you are awesome. Thanks for watching my videos. So in this module, what we're gonna be covering is how computers and end devices get their IP addresses automatically. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about DHCP and Slack and how each of your devices get IP addresses and IP version six addresses automatically. One of my first videos is gonna be a DHCP review. We're gonna go over the highlights of DHCP. Uh, now, I covered DHCP really in depth in my last class, so you may wanna go and review that, but for the most part, we're gonna hit what's gonna be ap applicable to what we're talking about here. Then we're gonna get into configuring DHCP on those servers. Then we're gonna get into an IP version six refresher. Once again, in my last class, I went real in depth into IP version six. So I'm not gonna take that real in depth look into this, but hit the highlights of what, the, what we're going to need to know to learn the how to configure the Cisco equipment. So we're gonna take a look at how to set the RA flags on the, or the uh, router advertisement flags. So that way client machines know what to do to get the proper information they need to get onto the network. Then we're gonna get into Slack and talk about Slack and the automatic address, uh, some automatic ad address creation configuration. And then we're gonna get into DHCP version six and how DHCP version six can either work with Slack or be a replacement for Slack to set up addresses on machines. We'll get into a DHCP version six server configuration and what that looks like. We'll get into what's called a DHCP relay. Sometimes we want a DHCP server, but we want it on another network, not on the local area network. And so we will need to know how to relay that traffic, that layer two traffic to another network. Then we're gonna talk about a DHCP client. There are times when we want our Cisco equipment to actually be a DHCP client and receive an IP address and auto configure an IP address on a Cisco piece of equipment. Then we'll finally wrap up with talking about what we're going to implement into our network moving forward.